those that are down to the last scoop in their pre-workout or last scoop of their protein and you have a trouble scooping it out don't try and scoop it out instead put your water in there and you, you get a nice shake from that you don't dirty any dishes and you're not struggling to get uh, the last of whatever you're trying to get out of there so a little two cents uh, today on this commentary we have arms day which is biceps and triceps so this first exercise is a W bar with a double underhand grip just working the tricep all the way down next one still using a W bar for the tricep or for the biceps now we're doing 40 reps here all the way down and all the way up to get a nice squeeze then we're going to switch to an overhead dumbbell extension. Uh, here, I'm just really trying to fatigue the muscle. Uh, I'm not going all the way up, um, but I'm trying to go all the way down to really stretch the tricep. And then the last exercise was a bicep curl. Uh, it was a high bicep curl because we're trying to work different angles when we do our biceps and our triceps. What is going on? Uh, I'm currently driving back to the house. Uh, going to go hit the gym soon, go to the grocery store on this beautiful Monday. Uh, but I wanted to talk a little this morning about sodium. And I had somebody ask me, do you need to track sodium? And the quick answer is no. Sodium has its health benefits, uh, helps muscle cramps, helps your brain functions. It definitely, in a controlled environment and not overdoing it, has its benefits. But like anything that is too much, like too much fat, too much carbs, too much protein, sodium is the same way. That if you have too much sodium, your body is going to hold a lot more water. So yesterday being Easter, I had a lot more sodium in my diet than I usually do. So that's why I feel more bloated, that's why my face looks puffier, it's just because all the extra sodium that I had is holding all that extra, all that water. So if you're going to weigh yourself the day after a cheap meal, or a day where you enjoy extra amount of sodium in your diet. Continue to track it. Continue to track your body weight. But don't freak out when you step on the scale and the scale is up two to three pounds because a lot of that is going to be the extra water weight from the sodium. So the quick answer, do you need to track sodium? No, but if you're, you don't need to track sodium if you're consistently eating the same foods in your diet. If you're fitting your macros and you're eating spontaneously, but you're hitting macros, then I would say yes, track your, your sodium intake because eating too much sodium is bad for your heart. And it also is going to hold more water weight and make you feel more bloated. So that is that. I'm going to continue to drive. I'm going to head to the grocery store and then the gym.